Welcome to Alaska Rural Homestead. Today we're going to make some creamy, yummy mashed potatoes. So, we're going to start off by taking five pounds of potatoes, peeling them, cutting them up, and boiling them. And from there, we'll show you the recipe. So, stay tuned, and when we're done, there'll be a link in the video itself and underneath in the comments on how to freeze dry mashed potatoes. Okay, so we're just about done peeling these potatoes, and I wanted to mention that these are potatoes that we grew in our uh, high tunnel. Um, so anyways, these are our potatoes, and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, basically, uh, I'm going to cut these up, I'm going to put them into our pot, and I'm going to boil them until they're fork tender, and as soon as that's done, we'll drain them and mash them up, and we'll show you how much uh, goat's milk we're using. But I also wanted to mention that basically all this stuff that you see here is from our high tunnel. Uh, we're going to use the garlic from our high tunnel and we're also going to use the uh, goat's milk that uh, my wife Michelle uh, basically hand milked out this summer. So this is going to be really yummy and like I say this is going to be a awesome uh, mashed potatoes that's going to be freeze dried and in a store for years. So. Just kind of stick around with us as uh, we do this and we'll get it done. So this is five pounds of our potatoes and you only want about a pound of mashed potatoes on each of the uh, dehydrator trays or excuse me freeze dryer trays and uh, so the rest of this is going to be for dinner tonight but anyway so four pounds of potatoes four trays and put them in now just to let you know we are using a um, harvest right freeze dryer um, I honestly don't know if there's another brand of freeze dryer out there or not it's just so, so happens to be the one that we found so we're not necessarily promoting them but we are promoting the fact of freeze dry Okay, so we have the potatoes diced up or chopped up. We have them in the water and the water is gently boiling here. We're going to gently boil these for about 30 to 45 minutes um, or until they get uh, tender enough you can stick a fork into them. We don't want them mush but we do want them soft. So check back here in a few minutes and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got the uh, potatoes cooked and we've went ahead and uh, basically drained all the excess water out of them and as you can tell they're just fork tender so nice now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a pretty good dollop or two of butter and since this is five pounds two good dollops work then we're going to take our handy dandy little potato masher and mash the crap out of them Okay, so we're all mashed up here, and I've went ahead and added some fresh cloves of garlic into this uh, mashed potatoes, and now I'm going to put a cup of goat's milk in, a little bit at a time here. Now 
that's because we want it to be just creamy. We don't want it to be wet. So we may not use the full cup of milk. Okay, there you have it, garlic mashed potatoes.